Hey everybody, Chris here from the Other Planetarium. I'm the collections manager here. Uh, my main job is to care for the health and safety of all of the historic artifacts in our collection here, and that includes this massive 11-foot regulator mercury pendulum clock that you can see here behind me. Uh, this piece came to the Adler in the early 1930s, so it's pretty much been here since the beginning, and it is one of the most beloved pieces by all of our staff and visitors that come here and uh, visit us. Let me show you how it works real quick. Every pendulum clock has one of these. That's the actual pendulum. Now, normally, under normal circumstances, this swings back and forth at pretty much the exact same rate uh, every time. There's only really two things in theory that can change how fast a pendulum swings. Number one is the gravity. On Earth here, that gravity is always the same, so that never really changes. The other thing that can change how fast it swings, though, is the length of the actual pendulum. If it's longer, it will go slower. If it's shorter, it'll go quicker. Now, why does that matter? It's a metal pendulum, so that should never change, right? Well, if you live in a city like Chicago, where there are large fluctuations in temperature and humidity seasonally, uh, this can actually change the length of the pendulum in little microscopic amounts. So in the summer, it, the metal metal expands and the pendulum gets a little longer and in the winter the metal contracts and the pendulum gets a little shorter. This can make the clock a little bit unreliable depending on what the season is. Ours is a little special. You'll notice these four vials here on our pendulum. Each one of those vials is filled with mercury, liquid mercury. So it's a little bit dangerous. We have to be a little bit careful when we're handling this. But what happens is in the summer when the pendulum gets a little longer, the mercury expands up at the top here. There's a little bit of space up there you can see. The mercury expands in the opposite direction. Conversely, in the winter when the pendulum uh, contracts a little bit, the mercury contracts in the opposite direction also. This keeps the center of gravity of the pendulum in exactly the same place more or less throughout the year regardless of temperature changes. That makes our beautiful mercury pendulum clock here much more accurate than your standard pendulum clock. Now, in addition to caring for the general overall condition of the clock, one of my many jobs here at the Adler is to actually wind it. It has to be wound once a week. So let's go ahead and do that to make sure that it keeps running for at least another seven days. And that's it. Uh, like I said, this is one of the most beloved pieces here at the Adler. Everybody loves it. Uh, and thanks for taking the time to, uh, to learn a little bit about it and see what we do and how we care for it. We'll see you later.